In this video, I'm going to explain what the C1V1 equals C2V2 equation means. So C1V1 equals C2V2 is actually short for C1 multiplied by V1 equals C2 multiplied by V2. But what do they mean? So C1 indicates the starting concentration. V1 indicates the starting volume. C2 equals the final concentration. And V2 stands for the final volume. So essentially what it means is the starting concentration multiplied by the starting volume is always the same as the final concentration multiplied by the final volume. So you can use this equation to work out something that you don't know. So if you have three of the four variables in this equation, you can work out the other one. So let's take an example. Say we wanted to work out the starting concentration of something, and we know what the starting volume is, the, the, the final concentration, and the final volume. To do this, all we have to do is rearrange the, the equation to take the V1 over to the other side. Therefore, you would then divide by V1. So the starting concentration would therefore equal the final concentration multiplied by the final volume divided by the starting volume. If we wanted to work out the final volume of something, you would then take C2 over to the other side. Now let's look at an example. So the example is calculate the amount of 10 micromolar forward primer solution to add to a PCR reaction in brackets, it is a 25 microliter total reaction volume to make a final concentration of 0.4 micromolar forward primer in the reaction. Let's break this down. At the very start, it's saying calculate the amount. So we know this is a volume. And it's saying calculate the amount of forward primer solution to add. So this would indicate it's asking for the starting volume. And then we have three numbers here. The first one indicated by the 10 micromolar is actually the starting concentration. And what we have next is a 25 microliter total reaction volume. So that is the final volume, so V2. And it's also saying that there's a, uh, the final concentration is going to be 0.4 micromolar. So this would be C2. So essentially we need to work out V1 from these numbers. So we can do that by using the C1 V1 equation. So I've put the example up here, put a little side note here of the things that we know and the things that we don't know. So obviously V1 is something that we don't know. If you plug all these numbers into the C1 V1 equation, it comes out like this. And all we need to do is to take this 10 over to the other side. So we then divide by 10. And then doing so, we would then next do 0.4 times 25, which equals 10. 10 divided by 10 is obviously 1. So the answer to the question is 1 microliter. Let's have a look at another example. So it's saying, calculate the amount of water you need to add to make a final concentration of 70% ethanol solution by using 100 milliliters of pure 100% ethanol. So what do we have in the question? So it's saying to make a final concentration of 70% ethanol, so this would be C2, by using 100 milliliters of pure ethanol, so the 100 milliliters would obviously be the starting volume, so that's V1, and then the, the concentration of this starting uh, ethanol solution is 100%, so this would be C1. Basically, we need to calculate, using the C1V1 equation, what V2 equals. So again, putting all this into the equation comes out like this. So we just need to take this 70 across to the other side. So we divide that by 70. Again, doing 100 times 100 is 10,000. And then doing 10,000 divided by 70 equals 142.9. The 142.9 is the final volume of the solution. But the question is saying calculate the amount of water you need to add to make this solution by using 100 milliliters of ethanol. So all you would do is you would do 142.9 minus 100 
which equals 42.9 millilitres. And this would be the amount of water you would then need to add to make a final concentration of 70% ethanol. So now you know how to use the C1V1 equals C2V2 equation.